Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning how to make this easy text effects that's fully customizable and very easy to learn how to do. So let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. So we start with, as always, a new presentation and we're just going to change the layout to blank as so we've got blank canvas to work with. We're going to input a text box and we can write whatever we want. So all we need to do first is format and add the text box, which we've done. We're just going to call it text for now. You can put whatever you want, obviously. And I'm going to change it to poppins, which you can download off the internet, or you can choose any font you want. And you can just size up and make it bold. Going to align center and align middle. Just size that up. Nice. So we've got our our plain text as it were right now and all we need to do with this is just copy and paste so you're going to do control c control v and we, we can do that once and then we'll do that again later and we can again align center and align middle so that they're both aligned alternatively you can highlight them both and go align left and align top so we click the top one that we just added and we're going to want to stretch it out so if i remind you uh, of what the the actual text looks like it looks very much like this where we've got a text that looks like it's been stretched out that has some transparency to it so all we're going to do is we're actually not going to stretch it at all because as you can see that does nothing it just keeps the text as it is because it's just text it's not like an object or anything we're going to actually use this character spacing technique here so if you just click in here this bit here and you can see there's different different levels of like tightness as it were or looseness of the spacing so I can just show you what it does so tighter would just mean if I just pull it out there so you can see what it is so a tighter spacing would mean the text is much closer together and very loose is just uh, more out um, but you can see that's still not enough so we can actually go into more spacing and add that but we'll get into that later so I'm just going to go to control Z so that it's again lined up so we just undo that previous action and we're going to character space this to be about eight points so we're going to get more spacing and we're going to put in eight so you can see it looks like there's something wrong with our t's it's all on the e it's all a bit squished so what we're going to do is go shape format text effects and just we can click anything go shadow options or whatever so it just opens up this format shape tab we can go text options go into the fill this fill to the left fill an outline and under text fill we're just going to change the transparency to around maybe 60% and you can see something that usually happens when we do something like this especially change the the spacing between each letter is it gets out of a line now if we go align center you can see nothing changes and that's because the way that this is the text is still in the center it's just that with the spacing it kind of messes up how we want the text it's, it seems to be going around this x if that makes any sense at all so we can just use our right arrow key to just push it to the right until we're happy with what that, that looks like so it's like more in the middle so you can tell that this spacing here is the same as over here approximately now we can go Control c Control v and then align again by dragging and you'll get those red lines and all we're going to do is add more spacing so again go character spacing more spacing and this time we'll choose 20 so it's much more and again we need to change it because you can see over here it's not the same spacing as over here so you just hit the right arrow key until you're happy with it and there we go we've got the basic text effect now the next step will be to add the shadow uh, or, or reflection as that is so we can just highlight everything and instead go to text text effects and text reflection so you can see we're basically done with our basic text effect however we can add stock images behind it and other effects cool effects behind it so for example if i wanted to i could invert the colors so change all the text to white and change the background to black if you wanted it inverted and of course if we're doing that you just have to change the, the transparency again to 60 percent as as we chose before so that we again get that sort of look and if we want to make it look even better we can add a picture behind it so we can go insert stock images so we can just go very simply background search up for background uh, and what we're going to choose is one of these that look quite nice with it so we could choose this one right here 
and the reason why I chose this, if you're wondering why, is because of the sort of parallel lines, as it were, just like as if it's in perspective. So we can just squish that out, and then center back, and then we can even correct it to darken it, so we can make it darker and more contrasted, like that. And then if we just make those font a bit bigger, we can just pull it out. And there we are, we have our final text effect. If you want to learn how to create this awesome compressed text animation, watch out for my next tutorial, which will be showing you exactly how to do that, very similar to this, except animated. I'll see you in that video or in one of my others. But other than that, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.